I'm Anil Kumar and in this video we'll try to understand how to write quadratic equation in standard form for the given roots and we'll take roots which are radical roots right? so that makes it slightly more complicated and this method is kind of simpler to find solution for such questions. Uh, let me first write down the type of roots we are discussing. When we say radical roots, then we are saying that the let the roots be, uh, let me write down the value as, let's say 3, plus minus square root of 41 divided by 4, right? And when I say that the roots of a quadratic equation is 3 plus minus square root of 41 over 4, I want you to write down the quadratic equation which has this root. Right? That's the question for you. So that really becomes slight, uh, you know, complicated. Now we can have another example here, uh, which will have, let me write down here, we'll use the space for the solution. Uh, let the roots be, uh, let me take with seemingly simpler roots, 2 square root 2, right? Okay. So once you understand the method, plus and minus, right? So it's always conjugate roots when we are talking about radical roots, right? So that is that is how it is. Now before getting into the solution, let me give you the concept, right? As you know, a quadratic equation is written in the form of y equals to ax square plus bx plus c. Is that okay? That's the form. And for quadratic equation in this form, uh, you can find the value of x, which are called the roots or the solution, which will be x equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Is that okay? So that is the solution. Now this is the radical part. Do you see that? Now the idea here is, if we are given the roots, we can write these roots and compare with this formula. Once we compare, we have A, B, C values. We can substitute those values back into the equation. I hope you understand the concept, right? So that is the concept which we are going to utilize, okay? Now let's see how to do it. Let's see how to do it, okay? So it is 3 plus minus square root of 41. So if you compare... What is b equals to? Minus b is 3, so b is minus 3. Do you see that? How about a? 2a is 4, right? So it's kind of simpler, right? So let's get back to the solution. So you compare. So we have 4 in the denominator, 2a in the denominator. So we say, well, 2a is equals to 4, and that means a equals to 4 over 2, and that means a equals to so we find the value of a. Do you see that? So straight away, such a simple calculation gives you a. For b, we know minus b equals to 3. And that means b is equals to minus 3. So we get the value of b also. Now the question is how to find c. Within the radical sign, you have 41. And here you have b squared minus 4ac. So what we'll do now is we'll write b square minus 4ac should be equal to 41. Is that okay? b square minus 4ac is 41. We know b is minus 3, a is 2. So we can find c. That's the whole idea, right? So that gives you that b square minus 4ac. Let me, let me write down the value of b as minus 3. Let's write down here. So we'll go there later. So minus 3 square minus 4 times a is 2 and c is what we need to find all this should be 41 so that is 9 minus 8c equals to 41 is it okay so let's move on to the right side now and see how to solve this so we have to just solve for c so we'll take 8c to the right side so we get 8c equals to 9 minus 41 correct so 8c equals 9 minus 41. Let's use the calculator. So we have 9 minus 41, which is equal to minus 32. Okay. So we have 8c equals to minus 32. 
or c is equals to minus 32 divided by 8 which is minus 4 right so you find all the values a b and c so now you know that a is equals to 2 b is equals to minus 3 and c is equals to minus 4 and therefore the equation should be y equals to a is 2 2x square b is minus 3 so minus 3x c is minus 4 minus 4 you get an idea so that is the solution so the quadratic equation y equals to 2x square minus 3x minus 4 will have these roots right so that is how you should be doing it now here is the test question for you it looks simpler so you can pause the video answer this question here is my solution now since i have to compare this equation with this kind of an equation which is minus b let's rewrite this equation minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a here you see the denominator is 1 so that means we are landing into fractions so what i will do here is i will rewrite this root as 1 plus minus 2 square root 2 so what i this is over 1 is it okay it's over 1 so what i will do here is i'll multiply everything by 2 so let us multiply them all by 2 this is a strategy okay so we'll do 2 times 2 is it okay so we'll multiply by 2 so if i multiply by 2 what do you get i get 2 plus minus 4 square root 2 divided by 2 is it okay that is it now in this expression you find everything within the square root is it okay so we can take 4 inside the square root if I do that, I could write this as 2 plus minus. When 4 gets inside the square root, it becomes 16, right? So we'll, we'll do it in two steps. So we'll do it in two steps. So that's very clear to you, right? And then I'll get back to this. So let me rewrite this as 2 plus minus. When it gets into the square root, it becomes 16, right? So we get 16 times 2 over 2. 16 times 2 is 32, right? So 32 over 2. Does it make sense to you? I hope it does. So we have similar form and now it's kind of simpler to compare. So when you do this calculation, 2a is 2, right? So 2a, 2a equals to 2. So we get a equals to 1, 2 divided by 2. And minus b equals to 2. So b equals to minus 2. So you get the values of a and b. And you also know b square minus 4 is c let me rewrite b square minus 4 is c b square minus 4 a c should be equal to 32 right so in our case b is 2 right so b is 2 minus b i mean b is minus 2 minus 2 square will be 4 so i'm just writing 4 here or let me write okay it doesn't matter minus 2 square minus 4 times a is 1, c equals to 32. So that means if I take c to this side, 32 to the left side, or let me just write 4 minus 4c four equals to 32, we can solve for c very easily from this equation, right? So we have, we can divide everything by 4, or we'll do it later, okay? Taking 4c to the right side, we get 4c equals to 4 minus 32 which is minus 28 this is 4c so c is equals to minus 28 over 4 which is 7 right so we get the value of c so what we have found here is a equals to 1 b equals to minus 2 and c equals to 7 and therefore we have an answer here which is y equals to a is 1 so it is x squared b is minus 2 minus 2x plus c which is plus 7 is it okay so that becomes the solution for the equation 1 plus minus 2 square root 2 now i took my time to show you 
how to work with this kind of a radical expression so that we could directly compare it with the formula, right? the quadratic formula. And I hope that helps. It normally doesn't take much time to do it. So practice with this method and I hope it will help you to find quick results and that should help you to answer questions in tests like SAT or similar kind. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.